Hey guys, I know I look super different, right? Um, I got my hair done, you can see. I went a little bit darker because I am a victim of Olaplex. Um, Olaplex ruined my hair. Uh, and I know for a fact because it's the only thing that I've ever switched up in my hair routine, so that is the culprit. So when we went back to Kansas, um, I had my favorite person ever do my hair and she had to cut a little bit off and then we went a little bit darker for the fall and winter time and I feel like I'm back in like 2008 but that's okay but anyways so I'll go into more detail here in a minute but for this video I'm gonna be doing a chit chat get ready with me life update where I've been I haven't posted on YouTube in like over a month I know it's crazy it feels like longer maybe even two but I'll make sure to get into all the details so if you would like to see where I've been hear some stories over the past few months and watch me get ready please keep watching so let me just adjust my seat real quick. But yeah, I'm like, I had her do these like chunky pieces up front and then just kind of like weave smaller dark pieces around. I think next time I get my hair done, I might do some red maroon pieces in it, but I'm really liking it. I'm just, I'm not a big fan of short hair on myself. So I'm gonna order some extensions because I don't know, I just don't think I look good with short hair. And yeah, I just, I don't know. I can't wait for my hair to grow out. I've been taking biotin and I even started taking prenatal pills again because I know for a fact when I take those, my hair grows like crazy. So I'm gonna try those again. I'm literally trying everything. And then I'm just going back to like, I know a lot of people are gonna be like, Ugh, when I say this, but I'm literally going back to like my drugstore shampoo conditioner, which I know that's supposed to be really bad for your hair, but like I'm telling you, when I switch to high-end stuff, my hair just does not do well. Let me know if I'm alone. But yeah, let's go ahead and get ready. You guys know I can barely talk and uh, do my makeup at the same time, so I will try to tell you guys the stuff that I'm using. If not, I'll list everything in my description box. But let's go ahead and prime, and then I'll get into telling you guys where I've been. But I'm gonna use the Wet n Wild Rose 3-in-1 Primer Spray. I'm almost out of this stuff, so I'm trying to use it up. I did make a note of everything that I wanted to talk to you guys about. So I'm gonna att attempt to stay in order, but I'll probably end up telling you a story with the backstory and another story and then have to go all the way back because that's how I roll. But anyways, so just to clear up a few reasons why I've been gone, I'm gonna use the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Luminous makeup it might be like a little light but I'm not dark enough like my tan's gone away to use anything darker really so I'll just like bronze up the skin extra I guess so this is in the shade classic tan m3 all right so the last couple of months I feel like I wouldn't necessarily say I've been like in a funk but it's something like I feel like since the summertime more so around like July like June and July I like you know I'm a professional floater in the summertime so I have a lot of time to think by myself a couple hours while the baby was taking a nap and like I just feel like too much overthinking on my part but um this is really yellow um but anyways it just it got me thinking and then it kind of made me like not motivated I guess I just felt like so drained and I don't know what it was about this summer but I was just like mentally exhausted I know like Harley just turned two um a couple weeks ago yeah like a couple weeks ago she just turned two and I know like she's a handful now because she is literally like on the move 24 7 and it's just like so tiring like I don't <laughs> same energy as I did at 19, 20, 21, let me tell you. And I don't necessarily get like as much of a break from her as I did from Jaden because I worked full time when I had Jaden. So I was gone like eight to 10 hours a day from him. And then I would see him basically dinner, play a little bit and go to bed. Um, and with Harley, I work part time as a fit model, but some months it's more like full time mom and not, not even part time working because it just depends on my modeling schedule 
so I'm literally dedicated to this little human which is fine like don't get me wrong but like it's exhausting so Frank and I are thinking about putting her in daycare at least just for like a couple days during the week because I literally can't even get anything done like she just started crawling out of her crib I can't even put her in there to like trap her so I can do the laundry you know because she'll just get out and I don't want her to break an arm or a leg or anything so I'm just like so paranoid and then I'm like okay when she takes a nap I'll go I like have the baby monitor and all that or whatever but then I'll just it's like I sit down for a second just to like collect myself and then by the time I realize how long I've sat down for she's already up from her nap but like I said it's gotten to the point now where I literally can't do anything like I can't sit down to film a video I can't even do the laundry like I just can't literally do anything and we have like two separate staircases to go upstairs and we do have a baby gate but this little thing has literally figured out how to rip the baby gate off of the bottom of the stairs and go up the stairs like it's like baby hulk so <laughs> It's just a mess so yeah for like my own like peace of mind and like just to give myself a little bit of a break and plus two when I'm gone working she will have daycare to go to but she has to go to daycare like she has to like yeah she's got to go at least a couple times a week so I can like cook do the stuff around the house go to work do do whatever I need to do so she will be going to daycare I am like really nervous about it I, I never sent Jaden to daycare um, I was in a different situation then so I didn't have to and like it makes me so nervous to send her there like I just don't want her like catching anything which maybe that's inevitable I don't want people being mean to her which again is probably inevitable as far as I know this one she'll be the one that's being mean but um it's just like those little things which I'm sure bother every parent so I know I'm not alone but too like I feel like she is um super super dependent on us like I feel like she's gonna have like severe attachment issues like I just know it I just know it like I just know so that is making me like really nervous okay so this looks really good on the skin it's just like really yellow but it did make my skin look nice haven't used this in a while so yeah as soon as she gets on a schedule or something where she's going like twice a week maybe we can bump it up to three or four I don't know depending on like how much stuff like I really I really don't want to send her if she doesn't absolutely absolutely have to go if that makes sense like if I'm home and things are cool like I want her to stay home with me I don't want her to go just so if there's not a reason I guess is what I'm saying um but yeah where's it going anyway so I told you I would go from one story to the next without finishing the first but um yeah so like this summer was just like super draining with the baby and Frank's been working from home still which is fine but like we don't get a break from each other really you know so then like tension kind of gets and we're bickering and stuff because we're not like getting away from each other so it's just been like a lot I feel like and then I feel like in my like family and friend circle if you will has been like mentally draining and exhausting and I feel like I was just like I guess I would be just as guilty for some situations but I feel like in the overall I don't feel like I'm I'm not gonna take credit for all of the BS that I've been dealing with and it's just like I had this thing which I think I mentioned before like I just don't want to be alone like I had a really hard time like being alone with no friends and I would even continue to keep these friends around that were just like not good for me because I wanted somebody to talk to other than Frank like a girl you know and then like I'm floating in the pool one day and I just came to the real realization that I'm like I can't like for my own like peace of mind my own like mental like my own state of mind my own mindset like all of that like I cannot be around these people anymore like I just can't especially like I'm exhausted I feel like I get like anxiety like or I'm in like a really bad mood and like I can't control it when I'm around these people and I had no idea like where it was coming from and I'm like I don't understand and then one day it just clicked and I was like all right like I can't like I have to be okay with being by myself so that way you know I can control like the environment around me as much as I can you know like obviously if I leave the house I can't control their people but I can control the people that come in my inner circle and if that means me being alone and just straight up focusing on myself which I should have realized this like 10 years ago I mean that's just what happens when you get older but yeah like if that means I'm by myself and I'm with my husband and my two kids and they're getting all my my attention which I guess it should be that way but I should also be spending some attention on myself as well but uh yeah if it's just gonna be us four and I'm just worrying about my damn self over here then that's how it's gonna be like I can't do this other side stuff anymore so that's where I'm at it's a little embarrassing um being like yeah I have no friends I do have friends but most of them don't live here 
they live in either Kansas or they live in New York or, you know, they live in other states and I don't see them all the time. So I don't want to offend them if they were to watch this and me saying, oh, I don't have any friends. And they're like, what? You know, like that's messed up. It's not like that. I'm just saying I don't have anybody to talk to every day or see every day or hang out every day. That's so just let me clarify that. But I have a drawer full of concealer. So I'm just gonna... Okay, I can't use this one because it's too thick. So let's use the Wet n Wild. Do they still make this? Photo Focus Concealer. This is in Light Ivory. Um, I'm gonna apply this. And side note too, I do plan on doing like a video dedicated to like my updated like base foundation routine because I have changed it like so much thanks to TikTok. Um, I wanna share it with you guys because I just like how my makeup looks more now I guess but um I'm just gonna press that in I think I'm gonna use a brush actually so anyway so that's where that is so I feel like just with everything in my personal life that's been going on not necessarily in my household besides Harley being like you know a crazy toddler but um I feel like it's just been like really draining and I just don't want I can't do it anymore like I can't if I want to live like a happy positive life I gotta get away <laughs> from people you know, it's just crazy to me. But anyway, so that's kind of part of the reason why I've been gone. And like, I just was not motivated this summer. Like, and I think a lot had to do with that. Like, just the energy that was like around me, I guess. I'm really trying not to sound like crazy. But like, just like the negative energy that I feel like was surrounding me with people or whatever. And once I was finally like, <sighs> enough, I felt like, I could live again if that makes sense but yeah so just a little backstory on that so now let's flash forward a little bit let me go back to my list so one of the things we did I told myself when I was gonna do this video I would insert some pictures so I could explain to you like what's been going on the last couple months and insert some pictures so you guys could see so we did go to Fright Fest and Fright Fest is in Six Flags and they do like this Halloween thing. The first time we went was a few years ago. I'm gonna say like five or six years ago. It was so cool. Like each each section of the park had its own like Halloween scary theme. Amazing. Like literally 10 out of 10. They have like haunted houses and stuff like that too. And then if you don't want to do that, you can get on the rides. But um, yeah, the first time I went, it was so cool and we left. I remember we like, oh, we have to come back every year. Okay, then everything happens. I get pregnant. Harley's like too little to go. Like then we have all other stuff, you know, going on. So we couldn't go. We haven't been in like three years, I think. So we went and Frank and I went um, just by ourselves the first time. And there was like maybe two scare zones. And before there was like, I don't know, 10 plus maybe. There was like two or three this time. Like there was nothing. Which was super sad because like Halloween is like... <clears throat> like I love me some Halloween um I'm gonna use this wet and wild contour shade and oaks on you but uh yeah so we went it was disappointing but it was nice to get out of the house and all that and like I paid for the meal pass so it's like eight dollars or something like that and you get a lunch a dinner I'm talking like full-on meals you don't get drinks or anything but um I paid for that and then you get like a snack which is crazy you get all that food for eight dollars it's like forty five dollars and you could go as many times as you want that month and keep using it. It's insane. But uh, anyway, so we went. We got some food. We walked around. It was nice to get around the house. We were around some Halloween stuff. But I was, like, really disappointed, not going to lie. But, I mean, it is what it is um, at the end of the day. But I'm going to work on brows. And, yeah, we went there. Picked out, like, a cute outfit. I have been doing, like, a lot of TikToks. Not a lot. But I feel like I've been on TikTok more than I have on YouTube, honestly. So if you want to follow me over there, you can. I think I'm going to start doing more like makeup tutorials, like testing out products, like hauls and stuff like that. I was going to try to do like 50-50 on YouTube, on TikTok, um, but I'm, you might find me more on TikTok, especially during December because I plan on doing Vlogmas. So for the month of December, I'm strictly doing Vlogmas. So if you haven't seen any of my other vlogs, I usually do like three days and then post on the fourth day, three days po post on that fourth day, so on, so on. I think it ends up being like seven or eight videos, I think. But I think I'm just gonna solely dedicate YouTube to Vlogmas. So I won't be posting like tutorials or hauls or anything like that during the month of December. I'll be posting that on TikTok. But if I do like a Christmas makeup, you know, like during Vlogmas, I'll include that in my vlog, I guess is what I'm saying. Hopefully, and hopefully this makes sense. But, um, what I want to do for brows. Sorry, I just had a brain fart. 
Um, I've been kind of like switching up my brow routine because I just don't know what I really like anymore. Let's use this Complex Culture. This is full out brow gel. I'm just going to start with brushing them up. But um, yeah, so definitely follow me there. And where's it going? Oh yeah, Fright Fest. So we did that. That was cool. Um, and then shortly after that, let me check my list. Oh, Jaden went to homecoming and it's his first school dance because last year he's a sophomore in high school and last year, his freshman year, his first year of high school was all at home, at home learning on the computer. So he didn't get to do any you know, like in person, well, he wasn't in person at all, but he missed out on homecoming. He missed out on like the dances. He missed out on all that stuff. So this year was his like first real high school experience, I feel like. So that was cool. He said that he had like a blast. He showed me some pictures and stuff, but he doesn't really take a lot of pictures. So I had like three to look at and then try to decide if I thought he had a good time. <laughs> you know what I mean? So anyways, he did that. So yeah, he came back and he said his voice was all hoarse and he was like, everybody was singing to the words to every single song and people were dancing and da 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 and he just sounded like he had a blast. So I, I felt good for him because he needed that. I'm just gonna mix a few things here. So this is the CoverGirl Soft Blonde Brown Shape and Defined Easy Breezy Brow. I've been trying to do more of like a natural fluffy brow so basically every time I sit down to do my makeup I kind of just like do a bunch of different things kind of like an experiment so I can decide what I like the most so yeah oh and then too what I thought was weird is when I went to homecoming which I don't think I went every year I think I went like twice but when I went to homecoming in high school we just went to the game and then the homecoming like I think the fall homecoming would be right after like the football game so we would go in like whatever we wore there jeans and a t-shirt like nothing special right and as far as I know that's how every homecoming is and then for his homecoming like he had to like dress up and then his date that he brought had like a formal dress like all of that so I was just like is that is this a California thing or like is this like the new norm like I don't know but like we didn't dress up so yeah I don't know I thought that was weird but um sorry I'm getting sidetracked I told you like, I wanted to just sit here and just talk to you guys, but I thought that would be boring, so I figured I would just attempt to do another one of these chit chat get ready with me. It's probably going to be, <laughs> it's going to be like an hour long, so I'm sorry, but hopefully you guys have nothing to do and are curious what I've been up to, so hopefully you'll enjoy this video, but anyways, so next we have, oh, I have to tell you guys, okay, so we found this new park. It's in Rancho Cucamonga. I think it's called... Central Park? I can't remember, but it's beautiful. I got there and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. See the mountains in the back? Gorgeous. Like, so much grass. Just beautiful. There's like a building there for like some other stuff. I don't know. If, I don't know if it was like a government building. I don't know what it was, but there was flowers everywhere. It was just amazing. I'm like looking around. I'm like, oh my god, Frank, I could come down here with like five maxi dresses and take so many pretty pictures, but I'm like, we're here for Harley, Brittany. We're here for Harley. <laughs> Anyway, so we went there, and that was her first time in a swing because, you know, with everything going on, we hadn't really been taking her to the park, just kind of let everything die down, you know? So anyways, we put her in a swing, and I took the funniest picture of her, her first time in a swing, so I'm going to start that so you guys could see it. It is so funny, and I can't remember if I, I know I posted it on my Instagram, but I can't remember if I told you guys about on YouTube her first time in a shopping cart which was this time last year we were back in Kansas for her birthday her first birthday which I don't think I've ever inserted any of those pictures either so I'm gonna insert a couple of pictures from her first birthday her cake and her outfit and all that and then her first time in a shopping cart it was so funny so I'm gonna insert those two but I really wanted to share these pictures with you because they are hilarious and they're worth the laugh so so we traveled to Kansas. Uh, this time last year we stayed three weeks because like I said, Jaden was like doing the at home learning or whatever. So all he needed was to bring his Chromebook and then he could just do school from wherever. And then Frank was also working from home. So we spent three weeks in Kansas last year, which was a lot. Um, 
this time around we just went on Jaden's fall break and he only had a week so we basically drove on the weekends and then stayed Monday through Friday got back on the road but I was kind of nervous with Harley because when she was littler because we got to flip her seat around now but before you know when they're facing away from you I feel like that was making her sick because she's seeing the world go backwards if I had to guess so she would puke like every time we got in the car and it was just like a mess and then she'd be stuck in the car seat because we'd be stuck in traffic and it was just not a good time I'm just gonna carve out my eyebrows um so we got to drive back this time and we flipped her around and I think that helped out a lot because she didn't puke at all on the way there and usually before the baby we would just drive like straight through but now we have the baby we drive half and then we finish up on the next day sorry my still in focus okay so we drove and we stayed in Grand Junction which is like the median between here and Wichita Manhattan and Kansas so we drove about 10 hours we stayed in Grand Junction and then we finished finished up the rest of the trip and oh my gosh Colorado in the fall is gorgeous it is so pretty like um, it's about nine-ish hours from here and I was telling Frank I was like we should make this like a three-day weekend trip like next time he has a three-day I would love to just spend a couple days in Colorado and then come home you know especially like that's a long drive but we could get there in a day like it's really not that bad you know and I didn't realize how I made the drive from California to Kansas so many times right now I lost track but I guess I just never realized how close Colorado really is if that makes sense so I kind of want to go back and just spend a little bit more time there at some point I don't know um but I guess it's probably too late now because we wouldn't want to go when the weather was snowing bad and all that but anyway so I'm gonna blend out this contour with my damp sponge so anyway so we went there we didn't really do anything in Grand Junction because by the time we got there after we had to stop you know for gas change diapers walk around you know like all that it obviously took longer than nine hours so I would say it still took like 12 just for how many times we had to stop for the baby and just for us and get gas and all that but um, we didn't really get to explore Grand Junction until we were like driving to get food and then we would like pass things but I also didn't realize that it was a college town like I thought it was just a little tiny town you know but um yeah it's really pretty I would love to go and spend a couple days where we can actually like explore but we went there and it was crazy because we drove through and I'm not kidding we drove through like all four seasons within like 45 minutes like the first one would be like summer you know and then we drove through fall and then we drove through winter and it was snowing and then back to spring it was insane but it was so pretty um so yeah we did that Harley was good she can't have books or the phone in the car though because she'll put it everywhere so she gets bored but luckily she'll she'll just chill she'll just look out the window she'll talk to us she'll sing like all of that we'll play her baby shark so she can sing along with that and she's good like she doesn't really complain about being bored thank goodness but um yeah so the trip was good we so we drove straight to Wichita we got there on Saturday night so we left on a Friday drove all day Friday stayed in Grand Junction finished up the drive Saturday and got there on Saturday night and we went straight to Wichita which is where Frank's family's from so we stayed there Saturday night I don't think we did anything I don't think I remember I think we just chilled and then Sunday we did do something but Sunday oh Sunday his dad cooked and some family came over so we hung out with them for a little bit and then Monday we went to Manhattan and we stayed in a hotel Monday night, Tuesday night, and came back to Wichita Wednesday. So we went to Manhattan, we spent a couple days with my aunt, and then we went to the Manhattan Zoo, and I haven't been to the Manhattan Zoo since Jaden was like four or five and I mean it's never been like amazing but it was never awful like this time they had like three animals and I was just like I can't believe you're even letting people in here right now so that was a little disappointing it was also Harley's first time at the zoo so I mean she didn't know the difference but like I was just thinking like okay you know like oh god it was so bad but um she had a good time so that's all that matters so then we're like okay well now I want to take her to a better zoo because I feel like this wasn't like the best first experience so um my aunt was like well, let's go to Tanganyika it's like this you can feed animals you can kind of pet them like all of that or whatever so that's 
that's actually in Wichita, about like 20 minutes outside of Wichita, I think. So then we decided to do that on Wednesday or Thursday. We did it on Harley's birthday. So Wednesday, um, my aunt drove back with us to Wichita and, um, she stayed the night at Frank's parents' house, and then on Harley's actual birthday, we spent the day at Tanganyika. So I thought that was really fun. Like, Harley got to feed a giraffe. Again, I'll insert some pictures. She got to feed a giraffe. She loved the lemurs, but, like, she kept calling them black cats, which was hilarious. And we were like, no, Harley, like, that's a lemur. She's like, no, mama, black cats, black cats. Like, she would not say lemur. Like, she was convinced there were black cats, so black cats they were, you know? It was so funny. But, um... I'm gonna probably fill up my brows a little bit after I set my face and I'm gonna carve this out sorry give me a second I'm gonna use this Rihanna Fenty stick thing in the shade linen just go underneath here real quick So she loved that. That was a good time. We also, if you're familiar with Spangles, I think it's only in Kansas. I don't know. I don't think it's anywhere else, but it's amazing. So we had Spangles like three times. I know, so bad. So we had Spangles like three times. Harley also had her first Spangles. She loved. They have this uh, caramel pumpkin pie. Do they? I can't remember what they call it, but it's basically like a concrete from uh, Freddy's, if you've ever had that. I just can't for the life of me remember what they what they call theirs but it is the best ice cream and I'm not really like an ice cream person to be honest but it is so good so we got that she loved it I always get like the what is it sourdough bacon something or whatever I think it's a number six if you want to try it um, amazing love it so good so anyways so we did that and then let me back up a second so Monday that we were in Manhattan so Harley's actually actual birthday is on October 14th but we were in Manhattan we had like her little birthday party there with my aunt on Monday and let me tell you let me answer a TikTok phrase Deb understood the assignment or hi V understood the assignment which is this grocery store which I think is only in Kansas and Nebraska not sure but uh she told him that she needed a Halloween birthday cake she said like ghost pumpkins whatever and they understood the assignment that cake looked so good and not only did it look good but it tasted really good too so double points right it was so good so she had cake um we opened up some presents she got some really cool toys that deb got her and we just did like a little thing monday night with deb for harley's birthday there because we didn't know that deb was going to come back to wichita with us so we did that and then anyway so on harley's actual birthday like i said we went to the tanganyika zoo and then deb left and then later that night since harley already had like this amazing cake at deb's i just I was like, Frank, I don't know if, I don't want to get another really expensive cake like we did for her first birthday because it's just a lot, you know, and I didn't have time to order one like that. So I just got her like a plain white cake and I let her pick out sprinkles, which she picked out Halloween sprinkles because she's my girl. Um, and then she picked out green, black, and orange, literally everything Halloween to icing to decorate her cake. So I got her that, we stripped her down to her diaper and just let her go ham and decorate her own birthday cake, which I think she had a blast. I'm so happy that we did that. And uh, yeah, she like really loved it. So we did that. What else did we do? Uh, we didn't have time to go to any pumpkin patches when we were back this time, which was sad because like, I love pumpkin patches I'm gonna set my under eyes with this Becca under eye and we didn't have time to do that which was sad and too I brought all these like super cute fall clothes because it's I mean it's starting to get colder now here in California but it's there's not really like fall trees you know what I mean so I brought all these super cute fall clothes I'm like I'm gonna take all these outfit pictures la 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 we get there and it's literally like 90 degrees the first day that we were in Kansas like no joke this was like October 8th is that not insane so I was like Frank this is my one time to wear like all my favorite stuff like and I can't even wear it because it's so hot so I didn't get to do that Sunday I know but um uh, what was it? oh yeah so yeah we didn't go to any pumpkin patches while we were there so I was sad about that but we just didn't have time because since we were only there for like six days we literally were like seeing family and doing stuff every single day which is fine like that's totally fine with me it's just we didn't really have time to do anything outside of what was already planned so I'm trying to think what we did Friday and I honestly can't even remember at this point I literally have no idea 
I have no idea. Oh my gosh, I'm having a huge brain fart, but I guess I guess we didn't do anything too crazy because I can't even remember. But um, Saturday we had a baby shower for my sister-in-law, and that was fun. And a bunch of family came down for that, so that was great. And then that was Saturday, and then Sunday we drove back to California. So we drove back to Grand Junction. <sighs> Harley puked this time. I don't know what it was. I'm not really sure. Maybe she just ate something. I don't know. Maybe it was just we got lucky the first time so we weren't gonna get lucky the second time but she puked within like an hour of being in the car so we had to pull over. We had to like clean out the car seat, wipe her down, take her into the gas station, clean her off. Like we, I think we ended up spending like 40 minutes at the gas station just to like clean the back seat and all that so that sucks. I feel so bad for her because like she can't help it. Um, she did that and then I think she puked again <laughs> like a few hours later. I can't remember if she, I think she puked twice on the drive, the 10 hour drive back to Grand Junction and then I think on the way home she puked again like from Grand Junction back to California the next day so poor little thing but um she seems to really like the car rides other than that. But then we got back and literally like I'm telling you when I got back from Kansas we were only there for a week but I was just like I'll just leave my suitcase I'll put it away tomorrow oh I'll put it away tomorrow I'll put it away tomorrow and normally I'm one of those people that puts my suitcase stuff away like immediately like the day I get back from somewhere I didn't put my suitcase away for two weeks like I don't know what's going on like that is just like not me but yeah it took me two weeks to even unpack my suitcase like I can't I can't I don't know but Anyway, so we got back from that, uh, oh, um, we went, to, we finally went to a pumpkin patch, we went to this one, okay, tell me how creepy this is, and I have a history of doing these things, which is, like, so, like, super weird, so we went to the Irvine Park Railroad pumpkin patch, we went to that three years ago, right, and then with everything, we haven't been back, but I was like, Frank, let's go to that cute little pumpkin patch we went to, like, a few years ago, you know, like, there's a bunch of free things to do, there's plenty of photo ops, like, it's just, I really like it and it was not crowded three years ago okay so when we went this time it was ridiculously crowded but we still try to make the best of it so that's fine but um tell me <laughs> let me tell you guys this so on the way there I like to check my memories on Facebook and Instagram and snapchat and all that just to see like what we were doing that day you know however many years ago plus like little ones of little videos of Harley when she was like a teeny tiny baby always pop up so I like to like revisit that but um I need to grab some brow powder before I go on this. this. This might have to be like a part two. This is the uh, Kylie Jenner Kai Brow in the shade Blonde. I just mixed the two. I'm just gonna kind of like fill in just a little bit. Anyway, so um, we're driving there and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, you know, check my memories. And we literally went to the We've only been, this was our second time going, right? We've only been to the Irvine Park Railroad one other time three years ago. And when I checked my memories, we were there that same day three years ago. I did not plan that. Let me tell you. I have this like specific eyebrow brush that I use, but I just like cannot, I don't see it anywhere. So I'm just going to use something different. So anyways, I'm looking at it, I'm like, Frank. We literally were here three years ago to the day. And he was like, what? And I was like, look. And he was like, Ugh. because like this happens to me all the time. It's just insane. Like I don't plan it, but this stuff happens. So anyways, that was like super weird. So we get there and Harley is just like pumpkins, blah, running all over the place. And I forget, and I'm sorry if this offends you because I'm really not trying to offend anybody, but like in Kansas, you can't go anywhere without somebody saying, hi, how are you? Cute shirt, cute kid, you know, whatever. People are just, whether they mean it or not, but somebody's always talking to you like everywhere you go. And I forget about those things, you know? And then when we were in the Orange County pumpkin patch, like nobody said anything to us. Like nobody said anything to Harley. If Harley went up to like a kid to say hi or, you know, did something like people were just like, and I forget that the <laughs> I don't want to say the majority of people are like that in California, but there's a lot more people like that than there are in Kansas, I guess, if you, if I put it that way. So that's kind of like, that might be like one of the things I miss from Kansas, just people just being like nice, you know, like going out of their way to be nice when it doesn't like necessarily benefit them. Again, I'm speaking from my own experiences, so I don't want to offend you, but um, yeah, it's just, it's just weird. It's a, it's definitely a different world over here in my opinion, but um. 
I guess that could be like that anywhere. I have no idea what I'm doing. I guess I should have did this before I decided to clean up my brows. I just wanted to make them a little bit darker. Um, but anyways, Harley had a good time. She ran like crazy. Her and I, I put together these matching outfits for her and I. So we had leopard like flared pants and then we had the same graphic tee that I got from Altered State. And I first found that store in Vegas randomly at like the Caesars shop. What's it called? Caesars. I can't remember the name of it. It's like the Caesars Mall in Vegas. I just can't remember what it's called exactly. But um, I found Altered State there and then I saw that they have like a Mommy Me like graphic tee line. So I got us like a couple of shirts to match. So we busted out one of those and like I said we had like the leopard print flared bell bottom pants I got from Shein actually. And um, then we had biker boots on. So cute. Oh my gosh. Um, I never thought I'd be one of those moms that wanted to match my kids. But like, let me tell you, I am obsessed. I'm not going to do it all the time, or so I say. But like, it makes me want to do more like mommy me outfits with her. It was so cute. But um, yeah, so we did that. And then, the f I think it was a couple days later, we went back to Fright Fest because they have a... Uh, Looney Tune Land or whatever, Bugs Bunny World, I think is what it's called, for little kids. And I was like, oh, Harley's going to be too small. She's not going to be able to get on any of these rides. But I was like, let's just bring her. She could see some of the Halloween stuff because she loves that. She doesn't really get scared that easily. So I told Frank, I was like, let's just go. If anything, we'll just avoid, like, the monster people and we'll just, like, have a good time, you know? So we went. She actually got to get on the carousel fun she loves that and then there's like this little car ride that she can get in and like fake drive loves we literally went on it like four times she went on it with me and frank and then once with just frank once with just me and then once with jaded so she was like having a blast um so we got on that and then we got there kind of late so those were the only rides that we got to get on before they closed down for like fry fest so then we just got food walked around showed her some of like the um spooky stuff and she loved it like she wasn't like phased by it at all she was a little creeped out by like the clowns but that's only because they got a little too close to her she was fine with them when they stayed a at a distance you know but the second they get a little bit closer she was not having it which is fine because i don't like that either but um yeah and then like they also do yeah, cause maybe I should use a different brush. They also do like concerts there too. And the music's like legit. It reminds me of like music from Vegas. It's like dubstep stuff. Seriously, like stuff that you would hear in Vegas. I didn't know that my child loved dubstep and she literally was going to town dancing to this Halloween dubstep music. Oh my gosh, like people were taking pictures of her and this one lady she came up and she gave Harley a dollar and she's like, I just have to give her this. We've been watching her for five minutes. So cute. And like, I don't know, but I thought it was like super cute. But not to mention, like I said, Harley was having the time of her life. She danced her little heart out for probably, I don't know, an hour. Loved it. And then she passed out on the way home, which is perfect. So that happened. Um, I put her in like this super cute little hocus pocus outfit. Um, love love this I don't know I like I love dressing her up it's just crazy like I don't know um so that happened oh and then um I'm running out of stuff to talk about and I'm not even done with my makeup but um I'm just taking this color pop brow pencil to just kind of deepen up my um, tails on my brows and then I'll kind of brush it out but um okay let's move on to Halloween so I took her to spirit Halloween and I told her to pick out like whatever she wanted to pick out so she picked out Minnie Mouse but then when people would ask her what she was going to be for Halloween she kept saying a witch so <laughs> I don't know but she was Minnie Mouse and it was so cute and then I was like wait a minute I think I have a red and white Minnie Mouse hat from like one of the first times we went to Disney so I went and I like dug through all my stuff thank god I keep everything and I found a hat so I wore that to go along with her and then Jaden didn't want to dress up because you know like he's too cool for school now but he did go with us and that was fun so we went around she loved I wasn't too sure like what 
she would think, you know, because this was her first time trick-or-treating, but she loved it. She said thank you to everybody. She tried to say happy Halloween, but she would just say Halloween, so whatever. It's a thought that counts, right? So she loved it, and like she was running around, she was saying thank you, she was so excited whenever somebody would put something in her bucket, um, her Halloween candy, like she had a blast but then she kept asking us like we got home we showed her showed her all the candy and i let her like have some candy obviously but there was a lot of candy in there like gobstoppers and stuff that she obviously like cannot eat but i gave her like the majority of stuff that she could and she was loving it and then the next day she was like trick or treat mama trick or treat trick or treat put shoes on and like she was trying to go again and i'm like all right like i would love to go again but it's over you know so then we just took some of her candy and I had Jane go in his room and I went in the bathroom because the two doors are next to each other and I was like here Harley I said just go knock on the door or whatever so she would knock on Jane's room and she'd be like trick or treat and he'd put candy in her bucket and then she would come to the bathroom and knock and I'd put candy in her bucket and we just did that for a while um but yeah she loves it she loves trick or treating she loves everything about it um I'm just gonna leave that like that for now let's set my face with powder let's just use this uh Lancome translucent loose powder it's in the shade 100. So yeah, she went as Minnie Mouse. Jaden didn't want to dress up, which is fine. Like, I get it. But, um, I know he was jealous of that candy that she got. I could see it in his eyes. She got a lot of, like, full-size candy. And, like, isn't that every little kid's dream? Heck, that that's my dream, you know? Um, I'm just putting it on this big fluffy brush. I don't know why I decided to wear a black charcoal shirt to do my makeup I usually wear something I usually get dressed second like I do my makeup I do my hair and then I get dressed and today I got dressed and I'm doing my makeup and then my hair so I'm doing things like all out of order today but oh well and then right here if you can see it I'll try to cover it up but I had a pimple there I picked it and then Harley accidentally scratched me and now it's like it turned into like a little red dot to like a big red dot so yeah what else? Oh, I got my nails done before we left for Kansas. I haven't had an acrylic since before I got married, so like four years. I just like miss the feeling of being able to touch my face and like pick my face. I know it sounds gross, but like I am a face picker. But the only, I can't do that when I have acrylics, which probably benefits me more than, you know, me actually like face picking. But um, I got my nails done before we left and I did like I guess my version of black French tip that I would have done back in 2008 but like the 2021 version so I did those I forgot how much I love nails like I just feel so much better about myself like something that you would think wouldn't be a you know that big of a deal but it just makes me feel like I try I'm trying you know what I mean and I was just like if it's gonna be something like this it's just gonna make me feel better I'm gonna start doing it again so I got my nails done then and then I just went and got them done for fall so I just did brown tips and then I had her put rhinestones on my ring fingers and my middle fingers and I'm obsessed. I mean, they are a little long. I mean, pre-baby, I would have them longer than this. I mean, this is still too long. Like, I can't really tie my shoe or, you know, do like normal daily tasks, but hey, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm like loving the nails again. So I think I'm going to keep them. Like, I think I'm just going to keep getting them done because it just makes me feel so much better. I'm just, I don't know. I'm like a whole new man, yeah. Let's work on a little bit of blush. Let's do a Sephora, I picked out some things. This is Hot Flush. It's this kind of like darker golden orangey shade. So let's use that. I've been putting my blush on first and then doing bronzer. I don't know, but I'm loving it. So I'm just gonna apply this. And I'd rather do more blush than bronzer at this point. And I kind of have been, like, putting it, like, right here, too. I know. I'm going to do, like, a whole video of my updated base. Like, maybe I could do, like, my updated base foundation routine. And then I can do, like, a video showing you, like, how I used to do my makeup. Which versus how I do my makeup now. And we can just, like, see, like, how different it makes my face look. It's crazy. But, um... Yeah, so I got my nails done. Oh, I wanted to talk to you guys about my hair. So I knew I wanted to do this with my hair, and the lady, Becky her, is her name. She's been doing my hair since my senior year prom, like no joke. But um, I always go to her when I go back because she's like literally my favorite, like my favorite. If I could fly back every three months and have her do my hair, I would, like I'm obsessed. I love her, she's super nice, she knows everything about me. And 
that's just that part and then the way she does my hair is just like on a whole nother level and I'm obsessed but um I'm gonna do about that much for now and then maybe go back in with some more but anyways um she's usually just doing my hair blonde like just bleach blonde every time I saw her and like I said she did my hair back then when like the dark underneath and the blonde on top was like a thing and she did that for me so I was gonna show her the picture of what I wanted before I got to Kansas but I was like I'm gonna wait because I know she's gonna freak when she sees what I want to do so when we get there she's like well what are we doing we're just gonna blonde you up I was like no I want to do this and I showed her like the picture and she's like <gasps> you know because it was literally like what she kind of used to do to my hair but just like the 2021 version you know so and I didn't tell Frank what I was doing because he met me with like the two-toned hair so crazy right so she does my hair love it I, I literally love it um then you know what's like crazy like how I told you guys like weird stuff happens to me all the time I'm using this highlighter it's the Kylie strawberry shortcake and I've been putting it like right I know under my eye and then bringing it up I know that sounds insane but um and then still on my apples because I love that but uh yeah so she does my hair and then I called Frank because we were gonna go get lunch and I called him and I was like hey like I'm in the car like just come down and get in and we'll go grab lunch because Harley was asleep so Jaden stayed with her in the hotel and then Frank came down the stairs and I swear to you I even took a video of it he comes walking down in one of the outfits that he used to wear all the time back in like 2008 2009 2010 it was this gray k-state uh football shirt with purple k-state sweat shorts he comes walking down there in that and I was just like out of every day that you could possibly wear that and the day that I go get my hair done to where I look like how I did when we first started dating, you picked to wear that on the same day. And I was like, what? Like, oh my God, it was just crazy. So yeah, we kind of like, and then we went and got food and it was just, it was just weird. It was weird, but cool. Um, yeah, I wanted to tell you guys that. So I'll probably stay dark like this until like the summertime and then maybe add a little bit blonde pieces but I think I plan on staying like fairly dark I might even do like the shadow root again here in like the next month or two so that way when my hair grows out it'll just be fine and I don't have to constantly keep getting it done because I'm trying to grow my hair out again since it's so damaged I'm gonna spray my face now because I noticed if I try to just kidding I need bronzer hold on see I'm telling you I'm like lost I wonder if I can I don't know why I'm using all these Kylie products. I promise this was not the plan. But I'm going to use this Skinny Dip palette. It has a bronzer and highlighter in it. I'm just going to use the bronzer part. Let me darken this. See, it's kind of like a gray undertone bronzer, which might be okay because I'm a little bit fair. Well, I've already started using it, so now I'm just... You kind of have to use it now, you know. So let me put there and then I don't even know if it's showing up honestly I can't even tell I don't I can't even tell if it showed up so I guess we'll just leave it <laughs> um but I'm gonna spray my face first because I notice if I try to spray my face after I've done my eyeshadow my eyeshadow gets all patchy and gross does that happen to you I don't know so I've been trying to spray my face before I do my eyes oh my I guess I should I was trying to decide if I wanted to bake my contour, but I kind of already... I'm going to add a little bit more blush back here. Okay. I'm just going to set it. Let's use this Morphe spray. I can ramble why I do this. I'm going to use the Maybelline Nudes of New York palette. This is like the best out of all the palettes I've ever tried from Maybelline. This one's hands down the best. So I'm just going to take a mixture of all of them really just like lightest to darkest. I don't think I'm going to do anything too crazy but I always say that and then I always end up with a smoky eye so I guess we'll see. <laughs> um, but yeah what else do I want to tell you guys? So Frank is in the middle of hopefully changing career paths. I can't remember if I mentioned that to you guys or not. So if that's the case, we will end up moving. And then I know I had told you guys a while ago that we wanted to like buy a house and then we just kind of like got put on a standstill because Frank decided that uh, he wanted to change like career things. And because like 
my job, you know, is super like sporadic and it's not like set in stone every day, it doesn't make sense for us to move closer to where I work because it isn't like an everyday thing, you know, and like his job would be an everyday thing, so it would make more sense to move wherever he is working. Hopefully that makes sense. So that kind of like put a stop to us looking for a house. Um, so yeah, now we're just kind of like chilling, waiting to see what happens with that, which I hope it's like sooner than, you know, like if we have to wait, that's fine, but I, I just kind of, I'm ready. Like, I'm ready as much as like the good things have happened in this house that we're in I'm kind of done with it like I'm not getting good energy from this house anymore maybe that has a little bit to do with like my lack of motivation but I'm just like so over this house like I'm like I have a lot of stuff but I'm very organized as well and I'm kind of like a clean freak in the last few months, I'm telling you, since like summertime, whatever happened to me in the summertime, like I just don't even want to clean anymore. Like I'm cleaning, but I don't enjoy it anymore. And I feel like my house is kind of just cluttered. Like we've outgrown this house. I mean, me alone, I've outgrown this house, but now with just baby and toys and stuff, like we're ready. Like I'm ready for a change of scenery. I'm ready to be in a different city. Like I gotta go, like I gotta get out of this house. I can't explain. It has a comforting feeling to it as well, like don't get me wrong or I wouldn't be living here, but like I'm also just like ready for the next chapter, I guess. And then October of next year will be our 10 year anniversary of living in California. And I think that'd be so cool to have like bought a house on our 10 year anniversary. So I'm hoping that me speaking that into existence, it will work. But um, yeah, uh, that, what else? I'm still, working with Patagonia that's still going great still love it all of that love the people there I love all of it like I wouldn't change a thing I love all of it um and the area is really cool too kind of reminds me of like a mini San Francisco it's uh Ventura County if you guys are familiar with that um Oxnard as well I think they're I don't know if that's like the same place or they're like outside of each other it's something like that but like it gives me like smaller San Francisco vibes so I really like going there. <laughs> um, I know I said I wasn't going to do a lot, so I'm going to try to be light handed with this. So I'm still doing that. Um, I'm thinking of possibly submitting to some more agencies just to see, like, I don't know, like, I always tell myself that if I was to be done and like, don't get me wrong, I haven't done nearly as much modeling commercial stuff since I have since we first moved here, you know, like nine years ago. But like, I feel like, okay, um, I would be okay if I just stopped doing anything that had to do with that in general. Like I've done enough, like I'm good. And then I'm just not ready yet. Like I'm not ready to close the door 100% on that world just yet. Um, so I'm thinking of possibly looking at another agency just to see you know if there's a possibility there or what like I don't know like that's like in the back of my head and then my YouTube channel like I feel like um and I'm being 100% transparent here I just don't feel like my channel is growing at the rate that I feel like it should with how often I'm used to posting like I usually post like three to five times a week like me taking a two month break is like not is a totally out of the norm for me and I just feel like I'm not growing in the direction that I feel like I need to be going for me to keep doing this I guess like don't get me wrong like I like I like filming tutorials I like doing all that like I genuinely do enjoy that I love makeup I love clothes like I love all of that but like I gotta make some money too you know what I mean and if I'm not making enough money then I have to find um other ways to actually make money um Again, like I said, I'm not I'm not trying to come off some type of way. I'm just being transparent with you guys. And, like, I love you guys. Like, I love that you guys enjoy seeing Harley and you enjoy my vlogs and you ask me for vlogs and you ask me for videos. Like, don't get me wrong. I appreciate you guys 150%. Like, you guys have been more supportive to me than people that know me. Like, and yeah, I do 
how do I put this? Like, people that I grew up with, people that are from my hometown, people that I interact with, like, almost on a daily basis, like, you guys are nicer to me and more supportive to me than anybody else that's in my life. And I, like, really appreciate that, and it's just crazy. Like, I, it's something that I can never tell you thank you enough for, so I just want to let you guys know that as well. Um, but for Vlogmas 2, I wanted to tell you, I do plan on doing, like, my giveaways that I always do, because that's the least I can do is give back to you guys as much as I can. So I do plan on doing those giveaways again, so definitely keep a lookout so you can enter. See what I mean? I always end up doing some kind of smoky eye. Is there such thing as like a light smoky eye? Maybe that's that's what I'm gonna try to do here. But see, this palette just blends literally effortlessly. And it's affordable. I think it was like less than 15 bucks. And it's gorgeous. Um, that's coming up for Christmas. We don't really have plans. I don't think we're gonna go back to Kansas. Like if we did, that would be totally a last minute decision for us to go. So as far as I know, we just plan on hanging around here and Christmas activities. Uh, Magic Mountain does do, I think it's called Holiday in the Park. So since we have our season passes, we'll probably go to that, take Harley so she can see all the snow stuff and the Christmas stuff and like we enjoy that stuff too. So it's a win-win for everybody. Then, a few years ago, um, I think Harley was only like nine weeks old, went to this Arboretum in Arcadia, California, and I think it's called the LA Arboretum, Arboretum, and they did this whole light festival thing. I cannot remember the name of it, but we did that like a few years ago, like I said, a couple years ago, and it was really fun, and Harley loves that stuff now, so I think she would really enjoy it, so that's another kind of Christmassy thing that we'd probably do, like maybe go to dinner and then get some hot chocolate, like they have little food stands there, and then just like walk around and enjoy the lights, and I love cold weather, like I thrive in cold weather, I don't know why, but I've just always been that way, so the more I can be out and around it, the better I feel like, um, so we're gonna do that, also we like to go to this place called Victoria Gardens, it's like an outdoor mall, I love it. Um, they have like fake snow and they have like a Santa house and like all that. So we'll probably take her there. But other than that, I'm going to stop here before I get too crazy. Other than that, I think that's probably the only Christmassy stuff we have planned. Obviously, we're going to have Christmas music and um, movie, Christmas movies on repeat in this house. But yeah, let me know what your guys' Christmas plans are. Maybe give me some ideas if you have any. I'm trying to think of a few things to do so that way Vlogmas isn't just me talking to you guys for hours on end. So, but those are the few things that come to mind. Maybe I can like look on Pinterest for some ideas or something. Oh, I, I think we decorated gingerbread houses last year. Maybe I could do that again this year possibly. Um, but yeah, I'm interested to see what you guys are doing as well. So let me know. Also, I feel like I ask you guys this all the time and I fail a lot on my end. But let me know if there's any videos you guys want to see from me. And I'll make a new list and I'll try to knock some of those out for you. And I know I'm infamous for my clothing haul. I got cut off so I'm not sure what my last sentence was. But um, I was talking about clothing hauls and how I haven't really done any on this channel in a while. And I used to do them all the time. So let me know if that's something you want to see. I was planning on doing a fall, winter, more so fall, Forever 21 haul. I got the cutest, like, shackets and just, like, uh, two-piece sets and stuff like that. And, like, Forever 21? I heard that Shaq owns Forever 21 now, which I thought something was up. Because if you know Forever 21 from 10 years ago, you'd buy some, you wear it, like, two or three times. You can wear it again, so it just fall apart. The quality of the Forever 21 stuff that I have purchased in the last couple years is, like, I'm speechless. Like for the price, it's like the quality is amazing. Um, but there are still some pieces, you know, that are just aren't that great. But the price has also gone up a little bit. Um, but if it's the price to match the quality, I'm good because it's still affordable. But yeah, I got some like cute pieces that I was for sure going to put on TikTok. But let me know if you guys would like to see a try on haul on my YouTube channel too, just in case you guys like aren't into TikTok. I know it's not like everybody's thing. So let me know about that. Um, what else? Oh, one of the videos that I wanted to do was Harley doing my makeup because she loves makeup. And what's crazy is she's never seen me do my makeup. 
because I don't let her in here because she will I let her in here supervised but she's never seen me put on makeup because I have to watch her the whole time she's in here or she will break everything um but she knows like how to put on eyeshadow she licks her fingers and then puts on her eyeshadow oh my god it's so cute but so gross uh <laughs> But she loves makeup. She loves, like, me to, like, fake put it on her, you know? So I was thinking about doing a video and just, like, kind of busting out old stuff that I don't care about anymore and letting her do my makeup for a video. I thought that would be cute. So let me know if you guys are interested in that. Finished with this eye look before I go too crazy. So this is what I did. I need to change my battery in my camera because I talked to you guys' ear off so much. It is dying. I'm going to change my battery and then while I'm gone, I'm just going to apply some falsies. Let me show you. I'm just going to apply some top and bottom mascara. Maybe a little bit of Matte Costa Riche like in my waterline. And then these Kiss Poise lashes, I believe. I'm going to do all that and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm actually back early because I just realized I won't be able to talk when I do my lips. So I just did Buxom Extrovert Mascara on my lower lash line and Costa Riche from MAC on my waterline. And then I just put some setting powder underneath so that way my mascara doesn't transfer. I'm just going to curl my lashes and add like a little coat of mascara before I apply the falsies. But I'm getting lash extensions. Um, I haven't had lash extensions uh probably in like three years too and my lashes have grown so much which is crazy because like my lashes have never been long they're not stubby but they're not long either and I started using the Maybelline Lash S Sensational Serum or whatever that stuff is I've been using it for almost exactly a year and like um it really helped so I kind of want to try like the Grande Lash because I've heard that people have like amazing results from that so I'll probably try that at some point, but I really want lash extensions. Um, I have a photo shoot coming up. That was, this is the, my reasoning for getting them. Or so I told Frank anyways. Um, I just got mascara up there by the way, but um, it's karma for me telling him that. Um, but I have this shoot that I'm doing and I need to look up the name of it again. It's in San Diego, this hotel, but apparently Marilyn Monroe shot some like a hot there, I think. Let me see what the name of it's called again. Hotel Del Coronado. I probably totally said that all messed up. Um, some like a hot there with Marilyn Monroe. And wait till you guys see this. I'm definitely going to take a video of it while I'm there. I don't know if I'm going to do like a full on vlog shooting there, but maybe. I don't know because it's during our shoots during Thanksgiving week. So, you know, it's going to be ridiculous, uh, ridiculously busy. So hotel, what do I call it? Hotel. Del, here we go. It looks so beautiful. It looks like you're in a different country. Hopefully you guys can see it. There you go. There's one, and then let me see if I can find another picture of it. I feel like I've heard of it. I don't think I've ever seen it, but maybe. But yeah, so we're gonna be shooting there. Probably more like um, vintagey type outfits. We'll see. I don't know. We're putting stuff together now to figure out what we're going to shoot, but that's going to be so fun. Again, that's, I think, Tuesday Thanksgiving week. I think I can put on my stuff. Oh, I also wanted to share this with you guys. This is a lifesaver. This is from Kiss, and it's the Lash Glue Liner. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. Like, once your lashes are on there, they're on there, so you have to keep that in mind because I've used it a couple times where I didn't put the lash on there right, and then it was stuck on there. So, kind of like a blessing and a curse you know what I mean um let me get these lashes over here but it comes in black too I just have the clear one let me see if I need to cut these I should probably cut these but I don't really feel like it so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply so you just paint this on like liner and then you just put your lash on there and it's amazing did I tell you guys it came in black yeah I think I just said that so been really liking this thing. And I just use my little quiz, quiz, my little kiss 
flat little lash thingies. But one thing, okay, don't let me fool you. I never get lashes on the first try, so I don't know what just happened, but that never happens to me. Um, but I just don't like false lashes. Like, I feel like, I don't know, I just like think they're like such a huge pain to put on and I just want to break. So that's another reason why I want to get the lash extensions. Plus two, I feel like it just, I don't have time, you know? To really do anything at the moment and I feel like having the lash extensions just helps me get ready faster because then I have lash extensions throw in a little bit of concealer I don't even necessarily have to do my brows because I have bangs you know throw in a lip color and I'm literally done and I feel like that much better you know so that's like the main reason why I wanted them again um the biggest the okay so the two cons of lash extensions for me personally that come to mind are there's three I guess um one I feel like they do damage your natural lashes and like I've had them off and on quite a few times but I feel like uh once you get them off my own personal experience or whatever it's like at least my natural lash is like stubby and they won't hold they won't hold a curl which I know I mentioned to you guys before um so that's like the number one con I don't know what's going on but I got this on first try too what is going on um I don't like that I feel like I can't like scrub my eyes in the shower which is also probably a good that I'm not tugging on them but I don't like that and then what's the other thing scrubbing my lashes, touching my eyes, my real lash is getting messed up. And there was like another thing too, but I can't remember. I can't remember. I had three reasons, but I can only think of two at the moment. But yeah, I'm just ready to make my life a little bit easier, just even if it's for a couple of months. I don't know. Like, I know I'm going to get them for sure, but I just don't know how long I'm gonna keep them I guess is what I'm saying like I know I'll get the whole full set and I'll probably get them filled at least once but I don't know if this is something that I'm gonna keep on for a while this might just be a few months and then I won't get them again we'll just kind of see how I feel I guess how much money I want to spend also this is just something I'm throwing out there to see how you guys feel about and I've there's been a few times I wanted to bring it up but I just have it because I just feel weird about it. But like, um, how do you guys feel about like the zodiac signs and like meanings behind them, personality traits and all, like I don't really believe in the, um, I do but I don't, but like I don't really believe in like the monthly zodiac thing. Like, oh, this is gonna happen to you this month, blah, blah, blah. Like I don't necessarily believe that but I do kind of believe in like the description behind like and give okay I'm gonna botch it because I'm like I'm a beginner I haven't really researched it that much but I do find a lot of people's signs like they are their signs 100% like their personality traits the way they are and stuff it is crazy like to me I'm a true Aquarius to the point where it's scary <laughs> for frank he is 150 percent an aries like it, there is no ands if buts about it and it just seems like people that i come in contact with with not everybody but like people that i do know pretty well like they're literally their sign and it's crazy to me but i want to like start learning more about like i'm gonna botch this but like the different houses that you have in your sign is that what it is or like the different your moon sign and what house you're in like that kind of stuff I did know at one point but honestly I forgot I screenshotted a bunch of it when I was like really interested in it at one point but I kind of want to like dig a little deeper into that and then I was thinking about maybe like adding that to my channel like we would still talk about makeup and all that obviously but just bringing something different to the table I guess because I feel like makeup is so oversaturated on here like I just want to like have fun with other things that I'm interested in you know besides just makeup and clothes so that is one thing that I wanted to bring up to you guys and then the other thing is which this is the thing that I feel kind of like mm, about but if you've ever heard of like 
energy vampires and like dark empaths and empaths and people that are like is it clairvoyant not clairvoyant um I can't think of the word that I'm looking for but like that kind of thing where people can like read energies and see through the BS I guess is what you're saying and what I'm saying and just like really pick up on energies and really like seeing people for help like that kind of thing um I kind of thought about maybe starting a series about that kind of stuff too because that is something I kind of like trickled into this summertime um and like fell down the hole of that and yeah let me know what you guys think about like those kind of things and if you would like me to like talk about those on here um that and then I covered vlogmas with you guys I guess what I'm asking what I'm needing from you guys is just in general what you guys would like to see because I don't know I feel like my eyebrows need to be a little bit darker I don't know how you guys are feeling when it comes to like the beauty world but I feel like it's like really oversaturated and I kind of just need like I don't want to stop filming them because I enjoy them but I also feel like I need to add more of my life of other things that I like than just that if that makes sense um so that way I just have like a f more than just beauty fashion um let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. I know you guys ask me for vlogs a lot, so um, with Vlogmas coming up, I'll be posting so many vlogs for the month of December, but if that's something, like if vlogs is something you guys want from me like on a weekly basis or like a monthly vlog or something like that, let me know in the comments below. Just let me know everything that you guys are interested in that doesn't necessarily have to do with makeup. And then if I have that in common with you guys, like I'll start doing like different series like that on here too. I'm just looking to expand what's going on here because I just feel like I'm going this way and I want to go back up this way. Like me sitting here and talking to you guys after it's been forever, you know, is already like making me in a better mood. So I feel like this is definitely something that I want to continue doing when I'm not like in a rut, like a mind rut, it seems like gonna leave it before I go crazy you guys know how that is so for lips I also need to do my goal before 2021 is over is to do an entire makeup collection I need to do an entire makeup collection I've never done one before and you guys have asked me a million times I know I'm so bad at that stuff um but uh I need to do an entire makeup collection I'm gonna do an entire makeup collection I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it of 2021 and then after that I'm gonna do like a decluttering video for like each category of makeup so maybe like my drugstore blush bronzer and highlighters declutter you know like I need to declutter like if you guys could see what I see right now it is like so overwhelming and I feel like it's taking over my life don't get me wrong I love all my things I love my stuff I appreciate all the stuff but it's so for lips, I'm going to use the NYX Nude Lip Liner, I think just to overline, and then go in with the darker one. I like this shade to overline my lips because it's kind of like weirdly similar to my lip color so I feel like when I want to like fake bigger lips I could do that with this and then go in with a darker shade which I need to get a big version of this because it's one of my favorites but this is the Estee Lauder Rose lip liner I love this shade but I'm gonna add a little bit of this this is me stalling too because I don't know what lip color I'm gonna do um, I want to do a liquid lip for sure. Let's do this. It's kind of like a darker nude. It's the Maybelline Super Stay in Amazonian. I'll use this one. It kind of looks like a caramely nude in a way. Or right, it's like a clay color. Amazonian clay. Maybe that's where they came up with it. Oh my god, that smells phenomenal. 
All right, so I'm gonna leave you guys for a quick second. I'm gonna fix my hair and I'm gonna come back and show you guys the final look. Here is the final makeup look. I'm trying this new thing out with my hair too. I've been like using the Revlon blow dry brush and I've been doing like this, I don't know, what would you call this, like 70s type of hair? Like, I don't know, but I'm just like trying all types of things at this point. But anyways, this is what it looks like. I'm super happy with how it came out and more so I enjoyed sitting down and talking to you guys and catching you guys up on my life. So let me know what you guys think of this makeup look and just everything in general in the comments below and I will have every single thing that I used in my description box along with links and all of that good stuff. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for the past like five hours while I got ready and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.